Poetry is like road maps. To some of us, we can understand it really easily. But to the rest of us, it can be very confusing. But for Milton Brown, I guess you can say, to him, poetry is kept simple. In 1956, Milton Roderick Brown was born to Roderick and Billy Sue Brown. Milton was the youngest child in his family. He started liking poetry around the age of 14. And at age 54, he published his own book. But right now, instead of focusing on Milton, we're going to focus on his habits and inspirations to writing poetry. So much of his inspiration comes from things around him. A slow walk to his little house, a picture hanging on a wall. That's all is needed for him to start thinking. So, at the end of the day, Milton heads back home after writing some poetry, possibly for entries into his new book. Milton has already published one book entitled Kept Simple. You've heard of the old saying, you, know, you can't judge a book by its cover. Well, I have one that might fit that category. I call it Kept Simple, the title. I'm Milton Brown. I'm from Alabama. And, uh, I've compiled 138 of my poems into my first book. Uh, kept Simple. Uh, about 10 years ago, I took up the writing and uh, writing about nature and time and just simple objects and places and memories. And, uh, uh, even the uh, preface is a, in a poem form. Uh, it's handwritten. That's part of the kept simple, I suppose. I'll read a couple of examples. One one entrance that was uh, just walking down the road and seeing a hole in a bank and uh, mostly times the swallow birds use it for nesting and uh, I remembered the Winnie the, Winnie the Pooh story the only one I remembered when, as a kid where he carried his honey to visit his friend and ate it inside his friend's hole and got fat and couldn't get out and that whole premise of the cartoon was getting him out of his hole and thus some of this poem here uh, one entrance along the bank a roundest of hole it sank to a wise one's goal must be bird what wouldn't fall a reacher be deferred from that protected hall where I was caught pueblos with pull ladder as I thought, from the inside it glows, and Winnie the Pooh fatter. And uh, another one would be uh, that defiling. Uh, just imagining, well, my stepson was a, a Boy Scout, and I was just imagining, thinking, sitting around campfires, kids, and so forth, and tents, and whatever. And, uh, this came out that defile it <clears throat> he spoke flashing a tooth of gold as the fire he had poked some rehashing in the unfold ghastly and grim its sordid contents when told by him between our tents goblins and ghosts bringers of harm and devouring wild beast our marshmallows of roast would wave an arm to the west then east. Rising almost from his seat upon occasion, engrossed in the heat of passion, tales he had learned, and some his the first teller, and the fire burned a cursed yeller. Guts would dare spill in his yarns unwound, and the night air feel of evil unbound. Then so I be known that they'd reoccur, 
when long gone and dreams still stir. Uh, number like a number uh, that's along the lines of my poetry. It's got a rhyme. Milton is also inspired by his faith in his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, I would suppose, considering that God made everything and all the natural stuff, it's good to write of. And, uh, of course, Song of Solomon and stuff like that is poetry and very great. So, uh, it's God making it. Is all I know. And the last major thing that inspires him is his family around him. Uh, <clears throat> on my, my book, uh, Kept Simple, uh, my wife's helped me a lot. She's a computer whiz around here, not I. And uh, the online stuff and the typing, she's helped me a lot. And, my grandson here doing my documentary of yours truly and I owe a lot to them all and the maker for giving me the material to write of. Uh, most of my poems was written down in my chicken yard, my office so to speak, but uh, the one for sure maybe was read up here was one about the picture frames as you can see inspiration for that laying on the couch and thinking about what else are, is there to write of along about some of the last few poems I've written you know uh, <clears throat> frames <clears throat> in Sunday best clothes cheeses sound eases at utterance in time are froze on paper's permanence Confined to frame a parrot around, a parrot, daughters or sons, no need be named, they're all loved ones. Varied colored wood grains, band, surround, and metal from silver to brass, the panes of clear as glass. In avoidance of fall, high bound by a nail. I level on wall, they scale. Or the harnessing stand, cringing, found, hinging is their prop, sharing command of a tabletop. The last poem in the book, Omega Mark, about the little dash on the gravestones between the birth and death. Uh, Omega mark goes mostly unnoticed, one brief mark and flat, always dismissed while if while grief looking at such little significance that ride on grave, this total expanse our God has gave, gone in a flash, now lines for separating, it's just a dash yet combines the dating. Oh how it's scorn. Is it a subtraction implied? After the born, the connection to died. Good times and toil, within it etched. A full recoil, straight thin, unstretched. 